Hello, everybody. Dan Tomaszewski here with Everything MSP. I hope you're all doing well. I am here with George Smith with Augment today. George, how are you doing? Good, Dan. How are you? Doing great. Um, we just saw each other a few weeks ago in uh, Orlando. It was great to catch up with you, spend some time with you. Um, and today, I, I, you know, for our take five, I want to talk a little bit more about um, your overall security platform. Um, you know, Augment's been out there and, you know, I, I do for any of our audience members that's not familiar with Augment, I'd love for you to give, you know, just a brief overview of what, what does Augment do? For sure, happy to. Um, so for those who are unfamiliar with Augment, we're a, a Canadian company. They're actually founded by the same guys that started uh, Enable all the way back in the early 2000s. So uh, our, our main goal is, is we only work with MSPs and we're focused on simplifying Microsoft security for them. So we know the vast majority of MSPs are, are managing Microsoft on behalf of their, their clients, but Microsoft often isn't the easiest to manage or secure if you're an MSP. It doesn't come secure out of the box and it's not multi-tenant, which means that if you are trying to secure uh, your, your Microsoft tenants in this age where cybersecurity and risk is through the roof with breaches happening everywhere, it can be a very manual, cumbersome and intense intensive process to have to go tenant by tenant with multiple incognito tabs open or always clearing your cash. Um, it's it's just very tricky. So that's why we created Augment, which is uh, that dedicated MSP platform that pulls in all of your different Microsoft tenant information into a multi-tenant platform and gives you different dashboards so that you can look at the risks, so provide audits and uh, assessments of the current health uh, or, or risk profile of your Microsoft tenants, as, a, as well as then the ability to remediate and actually protect those environments. So start turning on different security policies and configuring different security postures, getting MFA rolled out, creating conditional access policies, enabling login portal branding, all that kind of good stuff. And then once you've actually built that wall and set up those security checks, of course, we know the work isn't over. Um, security isn't a, isn't a product, it's a discipline. So being able to alert and monitor on those environments for any negative changes or decrease is in compliance. And so we have integrations with all the major RMMs and PSA. So you can get tickets created and, and notifications straight through uh, to your help desk uh, so you can act quickly. And then from within Augment again, lock down those accounts with the click of a button. So one of the things that you mentioned is, you know, Microsoft is not secure out of the box and it does require um, us to jump in there and to, you know, lock things down, harden it. Um, I would suspect, I would put money on that it's a scenario that either it's being done properly or it's just not being done at all. Would, you know, what, what's your take on that? Yeah, I, I would agree. Uh, you know, it, before we were we were chatting, Dan, I, I loved your term sort of uh, best effort instead of maybe best practice. And I think that that's the sad yeah, reality. Yeah. And, you know, my heart goes out to MSPs because that's it's not necessarily their fault. I mean, it is it is just a a, a cumbersome manual job to do. I mean, if you can put yourself yeah. in the shoes of a technician, you know, you go in on Monday morning and your job is to kind of keep Microsoft secure. By the time you've got three or four tenants done doing this type of work manually, it's already Wednesday. And the reality is, is you actually probably have to go back to the first client that you did on Monday morning to make sure that everything is still there. So yeah. that whenever yeah. you start thinking about how, like, Eve, I'll give you a specific example. There's nowhere in Microsoft that shows you as an MSP, the MFA status of all of your clients. Right. Okay, so show me a high level view of what does MFA look like for the 50 different companies that I'm managing. That's why we built the MFA report in Augment. It shows you that exact statistics. It pulls it in from, from, your, from your Microsoft environment. And then you can actually drill in to each of the companies to see who does or does not have MFA enabled. How, how are they enabling it? Is it per user? Is it through a third party application like Duo? And you know, basically, are they protected? Yes or no? And that's so important for getting that full picture but also for compliance reasons, right? Being able to prove, yes, MFA was on for Dan on this date, if there's ever an audit or, or you know, anything that you need to prove in the future. You know, you, you mentioned the word multi-tenant 
And, you know, I, it's mind blowing to think if you don't have something that allows you to manage the security of 365, that's in a multi-tenant fashion, uh, you know, all the opportunity where something could, you know, fall through the cracks, right? I mean, it's just inevitable that that's going to happen. I mean, you, you know, I, I don't want to say it's a complete black hole, but it's, it's like a black hole because, unless you're able to visually see all of it, it's just incredibly cumbersome to be able to drill down into every single client and, you know, every single tenant and to be able to determine what that looks like. So can you give a little bit more of an overview um, so we can understand how that multi-tenant functionality, you know, provides huge value to an MSP? Yeah, of course. I mean, I think if, if we think about you know, what MSPs have been doing prior to Augment, and we know this because th this is what we've seen and what they shared. Uh, some of them were using PowerShell scripts to help try and connect the dots there, but often those didn't last longer than a couple of weeks because, as mm -hmm. most people know, Microsoft is notorious for either changing the name of something or changing where that particular information lives. And so PowerShell all of a sudden can't pull the thing that it's looking for because it's changed location or it's a completely different uh, uh, name altogether. And so what a, a lot of other guys would do would just have an incognito browser open with a dozen yeah, tabs yeah. open. And if you begin to think about what that looks like, where every tab is kind of the same, but slightly different, and you're going through trying to manually check these boxes one by one. I mean, we're only human and, and people are going to, you know, I'm getting a migraine already kind of thinking about it. So we have clients that have already said that their, their technicians are saving about six hours a week by using Augment and being able to see everything in one dashboard and being able to, to drill in. Uh, and we've, we've won awards for our, our user experience design. It's very intuitive. It's very neat and clean. Uh, and that was very, very, uh, you know, we did that on purpose because we also wanted to make sure that this information uh, can be exported as reports and shared with the end user mm -hmm. clients. You know, okay. we're in this age now, Dan, where MSPs have to start and are being asked by their clients for more information, for a little bit more education on why are we doing this? How are you doing this? Like, what is the problem? How are you fixing it for me? And so by taking some of those dashboards and making it available as a report, so an MSP can say, this is your risk. This is your security score. Here are all the bad things happening. Do you want me to fix this? Yes or no? Yes. Okay, great. Here is actually the roadmap of all the things that we need to turn on and configure. You can see that only three out of the 15 pieces are in place today. This is what we're going to be working on for the next month. And then after that, here's the things that we're constantly doing behind the scenes. Here's the IP addresses, and countries we're blocking and blacklisting. Here's the accounts that we've locked down based on some of the risky activity that we've seen. Here's the people that we've had, you know, turn on MFA and educated on what MFA is over the past 30 days because it wasn't something that was in place before. Um, all these little incremental improvements have led to a dramatic jump in your security score reflected by the Microsoft security score and your general security profile as well. So you're safer and better for it. And that, Mr. Customer, is why you're paying an extra however many dollars per seat. So I think right. a lot of end users have pockets and money for security. They just need to understand what they're spending it on and, and why, why it's important. Yeah, I mean, you know, there's there's many MSPs that are all over the board, whether they've got, you know, still have break fix clients or they're all managed clients or a mixture of, of both. And I mean, we're talking, you know, whether they're managing 10, 50, 500, 5,000 or more um, different tenants, there's a lot that goes into that. Um, so being able to manage it all under, um, you know, one single tenant is is, is incredible. Um, now, the thing that I, I wanted to address is, you know, so let's talk about overall compliance. And, you know, I, I think if, if we were to really think about, and, and I know we do, but if you really think about the weight of the world that MSPs have from a security perspective, what we do to protect our clients' environments, it's tremendous. And my feeling has always been, regardless of whether a, a um, company, a client is under any type of regulatory compliance or not, you know, very specific types, um, they should be treated as such, you know, and you should provide that same level to ensure that they're being protected. Are you seeing that 
um, happening across the board, or are you seeing that because of the amount of work that it would take um, if there wasn't a multi-tenant component to it that maybe some are just kind of left behind and it's you know either an add-on or it's just not being done? We're, we're seeing at Augmenta a huge transition uh, towards sort of a, a slightly different model for MSPs where it's all about protecting the user. And gone are the days of, oh, here's my good, better, best pricing. Because yeah. Dan, if, if you're an MSP and budget isn't, uh, it, you know, doesn't matter for the end client, what, uh, what package are you going to be offering? always going to be the best right so and in this day and age where breaches are increasing year over year it, it has to be the best and so that's what we're seeing is, is just it's a, it's a per user fixed fee and, and 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 it's all about protecting the individual users of the companies that you're managing uh, and i actually have a kind of a quick slide i can i can show you yeah. on what that sort of looks like um so let me just share my screen here quickly and just kind of walk you guys through um this piece so again coming back to educating the clients on well this is why you're not paying me for time or or, or kind of you know uh, devices anymore you know we need to be aware of, of what your company staff are using and then protecting not only them as the user but also the applications that they're on if we think about microsoft as being the number one business application uh that's obviously then the most targeted and so it's the most critical to protect so again msps can use this framework they're already very familiar with it but are their clients understanding how a breach happens? A lot of people, you know, end users think, oh, an IT breach, and they pictured the Death Star blowing up. And you and I, Dan, know that that's not the case, right? It's, it's often very subtle. People lurk in the shadows and get up to their, their no good ways for as long as they can. And it often starts with something like a phishing email. Then it goes into social engineering. You know, anyone who's interested just needs to Google the uh, the MGM hack earlier this year and all the shenanigans yeah. associated with that. That's exactly how that happened. And then talking about Microsoft identity security, so getting hold of user credentials, passwords, MFA is not configured, how easy it is to, to get in that way. And then, of course, the app security itself. So having different, you know, triggers and alarms set up to make sure that if, if a bad actor is in there that that you know the good guys the msps can be notified and alerted on that that suspicious behavior and then of course you know ransomware is deployed data loss happens corporal files are, are corrupted and deleted so helping your end user understand like this is actually what happens this is what a breach looks like so this is how we need to protect you the user at your company across the board you know it starts with anti-phishing so we actually are going to implement a tool um that's just going to block the vast majority of, of phishing emails that are sent out because we can identify those based on certain criteria and variables but those that do get through we want to provide training to your team to make sure that each individual user understands what a phishing email looks like and so that they themselves can can you know approach email uh, hygiene with best practices from a security point of view then of course we the msp we're going to make sure that you know the user security at the um uh app level is tip top we're going to make sure mfa is rolled out to everyone that login portal branding is enabled all these different configurations and policies are in place and again, if anything bad does happen, we're going to have real-time threat alerts to make sure that the environment is locked down and is being continuously monitored for any risky behavior. And then in the event that something bad does happen, we're going to make sure that there is a backup and disaster recovery program in place so that if anything does become corrupt, it's not a problem. We can restore it and it's not a big deal. And I think that is really the thing that I highlight, you know, at Augment, we spend a lot of time focusing on our N365 management and security capabilities but those are other items that we offer we have email security to block those phishing emails we do offer csat training uh, and we do have backup available for n365 as well so we have a lot of people a lot of msps coming to augment now as a one-stop shop their comprehensive microsoft security vendor uh, and they're making huge margins by offering enhanced microsoft security to, uh, to every one of their users it's not um uh, it, it's a pretty easy sales motion once you help your customer understand uh, uh, why Microsoft needs additional behind the scenes work to become secure. Ultimately, who is going to do that? Is it me, the MSP, or you, the customer? If it's me, here's how much it costs. If it's you, that's great. Good luck to you. But please sign this uh, risk acceptance and denial of service form yeah. because I've, I've pointed out that this needs to be addressed and I don't want you coming pointing fingers at me in six months time if something bad happens. 
Absolutely. That, that, that is very comprehensive. And uh, I mean, let's face it, at the end of the day, um, you know, MSPs want to make sure that, you know, they're, you know, doing everything possible to secure and protect their clients, um, which essentially is also securing and protecting them as a, as a service provider. Um, so just as we wrap things up here, um, how, how can our audience learn more about Augment? Yeah, that's a great question. We, we have a number of different uh, kind of channels that you can go to. First one will be our YouTube channel. So uh, just look up Augment with two Ts on YouTube and there you'll see um, lots of different videos, short demo videos if you're interested to learn more about the uh, the product itself, some of the previous webinars that we've done if you want to go into detail on a particular subject. But the one I would pinpoint is actually our Aug Minute uh, series where uh, they're just simple one minute clips, kind of how-to videos that, that really drill into some of the cool features and functionality of the platform itself. So definitely check out the Augmented series. We also have a knowledge base so you can access directly from our website for those who like to read more guides or get information on the integrations that we have, uh, download some resources that you might want to peruse, that's available to you as well. Uh, and of course, for reaching out, uh, we have a, a request a demo or get involved with a free trial directly on the homepage of our website. You can reach out to our sales team, sales at at augment with two t's.com or feel free to email me directly george.smith at augment.com or uh, hit me up on linkedin as well awesome george it's always uh it's, it's always great to talk with you um security is one of those areas that uh you know is is certainly not going away and we need to invest more time and energy into uh this category this segment so um, thank you so much for everybody else uh, out there listening. We appreciate your time and everybody have a great day. Thank you.